Ready? Hi guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here. We're in a meeting with NVIDIA. We're taking a very first look at the new Xiaomi Mi3 or Mi3, however you want to pronounce it. So this is a brand new phone, 5 inch 1080p smartphone uh, from the Chinese manufacturer coming to the Chinese market for 1999 RMB, which is roughly around $330. And this is also based on the new NVIDIA Tegra 4 SoC. What the cool thing about this is, uh, is not only the way it looks, but also the build quality. As you can see, this case is, I think this is like magnesium or aluminum. Something like that, but just trust me in general, it just feels so good. I would guess it's roughly around 140 to 150 grams, um, maybe like around 9 millimeters, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal uh, storage, and it also comes with their very own. Well, not a very own one, but it's a kind of Chinese customized ROM. It's just, and I just can't pronounce this at all. It's Miu, 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 Okay, that's what it is. Look, it's a little bit like iOS, at least like uh, version number six, especially when you're looking at the folder uh, design here. Let's take a quick look at the software. I think it's running Android Jelly Bean. Here we go. So over there you can see it's running Jelly Bean 4.2.1 and it has a quad-core 1.8 gigahertz NVIDIA Tegra 4 SoC. Um, you have almost 12 gigabytes available of 16 gigabytes in total which is mainly because they've been installing a couple of games here. Um, talking about games, I think we definitely need to take a look at this. Um, let's see. I have no idea about this game but it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. So what we have here is, is definitely one of the fastest SOCs, especially on the GPU that is available on the market. Let's take a quick look around the device. Uh, I'm not sure about the specification of the cameras, but I would guess something in between 8 or 13 megapixel and a 2 megapixel camera on the front. There's nothing here on the left. We have a micro USB port on the bottom and also um, the speakers, um, a power button here on the side, a volume rocker. And this is for a SIM card, I guess, and headset here. And we have another microphone here. Uh, it comes with a dual LED flashlight on the back. And once again, it's an absolute beauty. You know what, from the side, it kind of reminds me of a Nokia N9 or a Nokia Lumia 800. It's a little bit this kind of edgy design, um, but with very, very round edges here on the side where you're actually holding it. Um, let's try another game here. Let me just close some of them. Here we go. And once again, you see it's a very customized UI, but I kind of like it. Um, what about Riptide GP? One of my favorites, definitely. It's Riptide GP2, and which is available on the uh, NVIDIA Tegra Zone. Let's just try this. Here we go. Let's do the milk run. It will be so embarrassing again. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, what about the sound? Let's, let's check out the sound. That's pretty decent. It looks beautiful. Here we go. Look at this. So right now we just can't tell you anything about the battery life. We can't tell you anything about the availability on the Western markets. But trust me, if you want to get this phone, there's always a way. Just go to websites uh, like Alibaba or AlibabaExpress.com. Right, or just contact the Xiaomi guys directly. Send Hugo Barras a message on Google+. Plus. Tell him to send you some over because this is an absolutely beauty. And I'm so happy to see um, that NVIDIA got another design win for the Tegra 4. So this is a quick look at the new Xiaomi Mi3 or Mi3 running on Tegra 4. And so see you after from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching.